Three days after she turned herself into the police following a wanted bulletin for acts of terrorism and mayhem, Robin Simon appeared in the Spirandale Magistrates Court where she was charged and granted her pre-trial liberty in the sum of $250,000. Simon was charged with acts of terrorism contrary to Section 309A1B2 of the Criminal Law Offenses Act Chapter 801. The charge is in connection with demonstrations on the east coast of Demerara last year. Her attorney Dexter Todd made a successful bail application and told this newscast that the prosecution had no objection to bail. Uh, the magistrate did respectfully take into consideration that the defendant is a housewife and has uh, established no form of employment and therefore she uh, was granted less, uh, a less bail amount than the others um, as she is not working. Um, which was very, very considerate of, of the court uh, this morning. Um, all matters have been adjourned to the 28th of March, and on that date, the prosecution has indicated that they will disclose all statements and all exhibits in this matter. On Monday, Simon turned herself into the police at the CID headquarters following a wanted bulletin issued for her. Todd told this newscast that he believed that the police were not prepared for arrival. And from I think after 11 o'clock, she was just placed in the lockups and no one went to her. On Tuesday afternoon, the police then invited her to put a few questions to her and then that was it. Wednesday, the entire day, there was nothing done in relation to her and then they brought her to court. We had been making repeated attempts to see whether the police will explain why would you keep her in custody? You've you placed a wanted bulletin. You have her there for a long time. Why not um, give her station bail and just invite her and inform her when the court will be uh, instead of keeping her in the lockups? But I think that the police felt that that is their powers and uh, that is what they need to do um, to satisfy um, themselves. But. I am glad that the approach of the court is, is, is very professional in these matters and that helps to restore some form of hope in the justice system when we see that there is a balanced approach uh, taken to these matters in court. The charge against Simon comes almost eight months after East Coast Demara residents mounted a protest seeking justice for Quinton Bacchus who was shot dead by the police during an operation. Lance Corporal Christophe de Nobrega was subsequently charged and remanded to prison for the murder of Bacchus.